Yeah. Nah, man. You know we gotta do a joint for the ladies, right? So every club worldwide, we gon' move y'all like this. Come on. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. All right, man. Where's my glasses at? Oh, let me put my glasses on. You know, it's that time. Animoto stuck in the window there, Mar. You know what? It's time to transfer over. We did the sports. We did the Conspiracy Wednesday. Welcome to Hot Picks. The Hot Picks is going to always have that glamour of aesthetics. We only judge right at the surface. Three men, three women, and it's always a different theme with the hot picks and you know every day I listen to the requests and what people want but we're gonna make sure we keep it within the boundaries and the rules you get a score of 1 to 10, 10 being best and if you go over 10 we know what type of women you like and then of course the women we, we hope that we can figure out what type of men you like because we're always trying to be the example. Mario, you think you're the example of uh, progressive movement in fashion? I am. I'm the most progressive black man alive. <laughs> there we go. They even voted me. Most That's progressive right. black man. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Here we go. Matt came in number two. This is... <laughs> That's wrong. PFC That's was wrong. fourth. <laughs> what about Norm? What about Norm? No. Norm's not progressive. <laughs> no, Norm, Norm is conservative. You're not progressive, man? Okay. He's conservative by nature. Understated I'm fashion sense. I'm saying this, Norm. Send a picture. He believes in glamour. All right. Here we go, you guys. <laughs> this is paying homage and dedication to that wonderful world of the BBW. You guys don't know what that means? Call somebody. Uh, Ooga. Uh, that's right. In the BBW world, Flavia Lacerda out of New York says, well, <laughs> says, you have to always have style, grace, and class and keep it healthy as often as possible. Mario, do you agree with Flavia? Yeah, she got the sexy. She got the sexy, don't she? She got the sexy. Uh-huh. I probably did this. <laughs> Y'all know we did some. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. We talking Ooh, about la, did la. this. Okay, look carefully and ask. Tell them why you did this. Because it's fluffy. You got to get some of that good fluffy stuff. Okay, Mario. Can't get enough. This is a fashion. Of that fluffy stuff. This is a fashion statement. Well, I can't get over the ugly drop thing behind her. What is that? A beach blanket? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. To what fashion? That's ugly. Totally ugly. Okay. But she's cute. Love the hair. All right. Thickens. She All got right. a waist. There's a waist there. There's a big old wide hips. Okay, bit. that's, yeah. 8.5. 8.5. You're giving an 8.5. Yeah. So what you're saying is, what hits you that you do like? Pretty face. I don't like the outfit at all. I don't like the backdrop. Or the, what is this high neck? What is this outfit? I hate the outfit. Okay. But she likes she got some cute breast assist. Pretty face. Okay. And I don't mind the thickness. I like some big butter thighs. Uh, okay. I, I'll say this because I got to chime in also on this while my screen gets stuck. I'll say this. One thing I like about healthy head of hair, man. I mean, it's like flowing. Do you like it for her hair? Uh, I'm just starting at top to bottom. Matt yeah, gave I her a 15. <laughs> See, Matt? That's disgusting. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's obsession. Wait a minute. Mac is... But every now and then he like a thin one. Every okay. now and then Mac like a thin one. Okay. <laughs> but he Mac's at 15. <laughs> Four towns and speaks. Wait a minute. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Norman said seven. I said seven. Norman, Norman do you hate that? Norman, tell no, me you hate minute. that top. You gotta hate that top. What the hell? Is, what does she have on? And what is this backdrop? <laughs> okay, you're not getting it. You're not getting it. I must it. not. Okay. Let, let me say this. But that's because I. Let me say it. Okay. I'm dating. Okay. <laughs> I'm saying this as a model. She, to me, I'm just saying her head, the, the headshot is wonderful. Yeah, but the top is horrible. The, the little Mark. rainbow thing she leaning up against is ugly. Okay, it. I, I understand what you're de dealing with, and, and I forgive you. <laughs> I understand. It's an ugly picture. Okay, but it is a beautiful model. She could look better in a different picture. Okay, well, I'll give her, I'll say this, I'll give her, um, I'll give her an 8.75. That's almost what I gave her. Yeah, you almost gave her the same thing, right? Norman said seven. He was being generous. 
Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean? Norman, because Mas- Norman doesn't, you know, I know how Norman is about fashion. Oh, okay. Explain. The fashion. Okay, Vic. The backdrop and the shirt. Are, right. That's too much to ask any person to look at in the same picture. Right. Okay, the blouse. Okay. 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 I'm just saying, that's horrible. I got you. <laughs> I got you. I know what you're saying. I'm, I'm taking away from the same reason. So I'm, I'm following your lead on this. All I'm saying is just keep an open mind. All right. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Keep you on get open mind. like this, you got to keep open mind. <laughs> Wait. You came in with open mind. <laughs> Wait, Richard. It was all open. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right, let me go on over here to the next one. Let's just say this. Marquita Pring is out of New York as well, and she says, you know, quality is all that she is. Now, Mario, you feel better about this shot? I think Max in love. Uh Uh-huh. And what do you mean by that? Because you got the big hair here, pretty face, and beautiful lips. Mm -hmm. What do you think? The wide hips, thick Uh booty, booty, booty. Uh Uh-huh. One, you got a smack on that one. Mario. You're judging the model. Nine point. She's a big one, but I'm going to give her 9.4. Okay, you said she's a big one? Yeah, she's a big one. What is this segment dedicated to? Biggins. <laughs> so you're, you're being redundant? So, yeah, I am. I'm being redundant. <laughs> she got one of them comfortable bellies. <laughs> she got a comfortable belly. One is of the she... ones you want to rub and make a wish. Okay. It's like she... mine. Is she beautiful? She's beautiful. Okay, that's all I'm saying. I'm going to give her. You know, I, I, I know Max is going to <laughs> go on and say it, dude. Say that's it. cold. <laughs> you go on and say it. It's about two out of three falls of world class wrestling. Okay. And then he gave her 12. Okay, you know so what? So he loves this. And Norman said he loves this photo. Sexy Tiz, she's gorgeous. She's stylish and sexy. Thank you. And thick. Thank you. She is beautiful. This is a beautiful woman. I, my, my score is going to be simple on this one. She gets a 10. This is 10, man. That's at 9.4. I know. What, you know what? The rest of What was Max? What was Max again? 12. I knew it. I knew nasty. He's going to be nasty this whole session. <laughs> Lovely folks. <laughs> oh, that's cold. Right, you know what? I, okay, let me just say this. Elegant. If you had to pick one thing, Mario, in, in transitioning, what stands out more about this photo for you? Style. I, I, style. Okay, but what's in the style? I mean, confidence. What? She's a sexy, confident woman, and she and it's a it's just a beautiful picture. So okay. it brings a certain style to a big woman. Okay, that they don't get all the time in photography. To me, I got you. That's all what right. I meant by style. So okay. it's sexy. It's sexy. It is. All right. Well, we're gonna go over to our last contestant for the females, and Sebastian Corvus is out of Richton Park, Illinois. She says, you know. Jeans get it done all the time. Mar, you know how men feel about jeans, right? This precious. <laughs> what? What? Why? What? Where you at, Vic? Why you down there? Why I'm you right down? here. I'm right here, man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Precious, I, I'm just you asked you a question, and you didn't say anything, man. <laughs> this is the jeans shot, man. I, well, it, I don't know about this because I don't understand the fashion thing. It's jeans. It's not working for me, but I tell one thing about precious, and she's posing in front of a bunch of weeds, <laughs> like old fucked up yard. <laughs> so I don't know about this one. It doesn't compete with the other pictures. Why not? It just does it because it just it, 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 it's not. I went to school with her. <laughs> what What do you like? I love this one of my friends. Wait a minute. If there was one thing you re- that really stands out about the photo that you like, what is it? The jeans don't fit right. Um, None of the shit fits right. Not the top, the shirt, the jacket, I mean the vest. Will you please kindly walk? Nothing fits Could right. Could you do a favor and read Matt Port Townsend's? <laughs> Norm said. <laughs> read Matt Port Townsend. Matt, you not lie. <laughs> Matt, you just, he does not. You have to read Mac it. Matt says, oh shit, call 911. <laughs> she will hurt you big time. 22. <laughs> see, 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 you have to be and honest. And Norman says he don't like the photo at all. Why? Then he said five. <laughs> So I don't understand Max just bullshit. He don't like this no, photo. No, no, wait a minute. Mac, you do not like wait this a photo. Tell the truth, Mac. Well, the average between Mac, let me give you this, Norman, Mac. You Mac says five. he does like this. Mac, you lying. <laughs> Mac does not like this photo, y'all. He says, now the world knows he's a freak. We knew that before. I just, I read, he, had booty, he had booty moment every week on his show where he rubs the booty. <laughs> booty rubbing time. Okay. Time to rub the booty. All I'm saying is this. All I'm saying is this. The average between five 
and 22 puts it somewhere around about 16. Is her name Precious? 17. No, it's Sebastian Corvus. Okay. okay. She's from Illinois. They cut you from down hey, there. Hey, look. Sebastian, <laughs> you got a, a low score of 5 and a high score of 22. Top score in our show is 10. You have probably got this, the highest score average all time on our show. That's because Mac like to have furniture moving when he's having sex. He likes to see floorboards get scraped. <laughs> you know what? Bed like leave tracks all How over the floor. How does this have anything to do with sex? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what? You ever seen big people have sex? <laughs> no. You know, lamps Fur- be falling and shit. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Pla- paintings First come of off all, the wall. I'm not going to let him reduce this down to sex. I'm saying that this woman, far as concerned, has beat out the previous scores of the other women. Big people having sex in the summer with no air conditioning. I'm just saying. I'm saying that's some shouldn't sweating, you, just dripping. Should, shouldn't you pay more attention to the max score and give it its conviction? Max says she can have his babies. I need to make sure she got some reproductive organs down See, there. You know what? I'm going to. I'm saying this, Sebastian. Just know this. No matter how much we're joking, Macport Townsend, GNN bureau chief, he loves gave you. you 22, and the top score is 10. Now take that with you. All right. Now, he loves you. All right. Now I'm just going to say this. I'm. I'm going to say this. We're going to come back and vote the most. Successful product or oh individual. Lord. Okay, Mark. Max wait a minute. Wrong. Wait a minute. Don't don't say anything. Don't say anything. So what we're gonna do is this. Come back. Our true sentiments. We're big time producers. But guess what? It's time to transfer over. There's a different theme. There's a different theme here today. You know what it's going to involve with the with the the, the term? It's not just men. It's called hot picks. Gangster on board. And gangster on board means we all said that the fashion industry will be impacted by the hip hop culture. Mm. So, gangster, <laughs> now you can't get this. You can't get this unless you're reading Cosmopolitan. Man, I'm sorry. damn, they don't have this in Cleveland, do they, Norman? Gangster on board. Wait a minute. Okay. I only have it up in Potown. Okay, okay, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I don't mean to say this. So let me explain what's happening here. Yeah, because I don't understand what the hell you're talking about. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm not finished yet. Okay, I'm not finished. Let me get it out. Okay, this is what I decided to do. Uh-huh. Well, everybody attributes the hip hop music, that's the whole culture where it was birthed from. It is attributed to the African American community, blacks in general. But we know the hip hop culture is now, and it has been for some time, worldwide and has permeated through all types of enterprises, communities, religions, countries, whatever. So you're going to pick which photo best represents the hip hop look relative to their country, the enterprise, or the individual. So when you see the picture, you're gonna gonna have me, (laughs) Mac and Norman, PMC. Yes. Pick who's the hip hop. Yes. Gangster. Yes. Oh, this is already some crazy shit. <laughs> this, 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 this. All right, Mac, hope you're ready. <laughs> Norman, get, you know, I just want you geared up. I just want y'all about to be hip-hop judges. I, okay, so I, <laughs> I, I wish I could give you more background on this, but I can't. So we're going to start off with a photo. We're going to take you over to South Africa first. South Africa. This is hip-hop culture that does not necessarily reflect the black culture. And we want to see... Does it convince you that it is the photo that represents hip hop? The first one up is Ninja Lo- Ninja Yo Landy. Ninja Ninja Lo- Yo Landy Visser says, "Make the first photo stick and remember." Hey man, that's hot. I oh. think I'm hip hop. I'm seeing hip hop. Okay, this is what you got to do now. Hip hop. That's a ten. <laughs> That's a 10 because it looks like the real hip-hop. Okay. South African hip-hop. Okay, let me say That's this. the real hip-hop. Let me say this. This band, the story behind them is that they are reflecting hip-hop. They, this is a band group. I can tell. Okay. so, so. I can tell Mealy it was hip-hop. <laughs> so you, you By get, the young man on the left. Where were you? <laughs> you know what? This is... This is this is not right. I'm really trying to pay homage to the culture. I'm sitting up here saying that impact that's that's deep, isn't it? That's it shows you how that 
our fashion sense of teeth, decorating teeth, has impacted everybody in South Africa. <laughs> Norman, let me give Norm. See, this, this is the part where I feel you guys are going to be disconnected. Norman said two. Okay. Mar, you said ten. I said it's a ten. It's a ten. I'm going to get my hair done like this one day. <laughs> Wait. Both styles. Now, Mac, let did, me just did, say did this. Did Rick James wear his hair like this? <laughs> Rick James had that look. <laughs> Wait. I'm trying to did stay Rick focused. James do that? I'm trying to stay focused. <laughs> let me just say this. You guys have to think outside the box. Hip hop culture has to re- define itself within the culture that it presents itself. Norm two, come on, man. Mario, you said ten. Mac Port Townsend Washington said, just leave that s alone. That's not right. There are a whole bunch of people in Cleveland look like this. <laughs> what about Port Townsend now, Washington? They got them in Port Town too. <laughs> that's right. So this is what I'm saying. You guys have to have a more open mind, but that's okay. That's the chef at Mac's down where Mac gets his local dinery. <laughs> Goes to get this local little restaurant. That's me, one of the chefs. Let me go over to the next one. I'm sorry. My, my case, you guys got my face hurting already. Let me go to the next one. Okay, you know, if you haven't ha- heard of Dolce and Cabana, then you got problems. It's the world of fashion. They're worldwide. Well, Dolce is rolling hip hop, and he's they're rolling hip hop with furs and Dobermans. Does this look from Dolce and Cabana? Says hip hop. Mario. Man, that's the way to do it. I was going to get me some fur. <laughs> Some faux fur. <laughs> Come on. So, you know, but then I saw Mac, the way Mac be rolling up there in the cold. <laughs> he have his coat. He's headed for the ferry. Right. Mac be out headed for the ferry. <laughs> wait, I wait. mean, the boat. You know, Mark, the boat ferry. Not, say, wait, not little ferry. No, no, you said it. Not the, you see, said not the little <laughs> mythical creature like Tinker, Tinkerbell. Wait a minute. He takes the ferry to, to get to Seattle. Wait, well, So he has his fur coat on. His well, coat. That's wrong. First of all, Mac has communicated to you. He's, he said in his message about outside the box. So I hope you got the message from Mac about thinking outside the box. And I know he's talking to me too. But let's just go on over here, Mario. I think that's hip. I got to walk with a Doberman myself. Okay. <laughs> but I'm not picking up shit. So I've got to clean up the dog Wait shit. a minute. If you looked at that look, Mario, and you didn't know it was about hip hop, would it make you think hip hop? It would. It made me think hip hop in Cleveland. Because they wear this, and Norman wants the jacket. <laughs> Norman said he wears, he's got this. He's okay, got this. So, so let me Norman just... Norman, got the boots, too? Okay. This is wrong. Norman already dropped a five. He says he likes it a little bit better than the last photo. He's giving it a five, so it's coming up in the world. Now, remember, you guys, it's hip-hop the way they see it, not the way you're used to seeing yeah, it. Yeah, well, I know we're confused, but it's cool. <laughs> I think the team is a little confused. <laughs> you know, no, they're not. They're not confused. They're a little confused up there, Po Town. <laughs> okay, no, they're PMC's not. PMC starting to think about <laughs> no. getting a cold cut no, sandwich. No, <laughs> see, see what there's. What I'm doing with you guys is taking you on a journey outside the box. Mm. Well, I, want, I want to go back to the box. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get back to the box. <laughs> Mario, isn't it true? You, they say you haven't seen the world until you travel. That's true. So if you travel. You will see different examples of what they reflect in the culture that may be birthed out of If you travel, you'll Americans. see some crazy stuff. That's for sure. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you something here that you guys got to understand when you think outside the box. Our last contestant, I'm just going to say this. You guys heard of the world of Barbie? Barbie International says, it's a wrap. Gangsta bitch Barbie's here. Mario. I had a blow up friend like this. One of them blow up friends. They are wonderful. Wait a minute. They're the best friend other than a tapeworm. <laughs> Tapeworms go, you go, eat what you eat. <laughs> Wait a minute. Mario, you're supposed to look at this and understand how hip hop culture has transferred over to Barbie. I do. This kind of makes you want to do something to Barbie. <laughs> Wait a minute. Come on. Get some wood splinters. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you take nasty thoughts about Barbie. Wait a minute. Let me just say this. I'm just saying. That's why I couldn't have no Barbies. <laughs> okay. I couldn't have no Barbies because I kept desecrating them. <laughs> you See, this is what I'm trying to say. See, you guys think it's funny. I'm saying that the hip-hop culture has embraced many ways of what hip-hop represents through them. I believe that Barbie it was the epitome of Mount Everest when it comes to penetrating 
that whole world of Barbie. It's true. Barbie. So when you go gangster bitch Barbie, does that ring a certain... It does, Vic. I used to hang her from the clothesline and shoot her with my BB gun. <laughs> <laughs> Just shoot all holes all in Barbie. Just shot the hell up out of Barbie. <laughs> Wait a minute. Just Let me say this. All right, you guys. Now you have it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know. I really don't... I am not trying to make Barbie... I'm not the person who produced this. They're not anatomically I, I, correct, right, by I, the way. I'm the person who's just, just the messenger. This existed for me to transfer over to you guys. So the bottom line is, there's a message in Gangster Bitch Barbie. So Don't we're gonna, smoke. We're going to roll back. Who is the most hip-hop as it relates to the pick you see? Gangster Bitch Barbie is my number one. <laughs> That's because of the name. Dolce and Gabbana. And then Ninja's number two. <laughs> That handsome gentleman on the left <laughs> tells you is a is a wonderful representative. So so wait a minute, wait a minute. So what you guys got to do? See, I know what. The, see, I know our crew. They don't want to vote because they don't want to be indicted. So PMC already said Dolce is number one for him. He wants to wear that jacket. <laughs> okay, number one for PMC out of Pittsburgh, Dolce and Cabana. Norman Ross has nothing to say. You know what? See, this is the part where they say you're not thinking outside the box, Norm. Norman, come on, look at his haircut. But you're like... Look at his haircut, Norman. Your significant one says, make a vote for me. Norman, you can put in some fake can, gold can, teeth just, just for a night. It, you won't be guilty. Go come ahead. Come on, Norman, get some one. fake gold teeth just for come a on. night. <laughs> and go out and just mess with your friends. Put in like three of them. Come on. Come on, Norm. You got to vote for somebody. If you had to travel somewhere... If you had to sit back and give a gift, Matt you had to too. wear fur. <laughs> like Matt Adams. That's why I try to hold people's looks against them. They actually write lovely poetry, flower poetry. So wait a minute. Norm went with number two. Yeah, oh, that's, so that's, we got Dolce and Gabbana. Well, got two. Because they got the sweater and the jacket. Okay, now wait a minute. We need Mac. Mac's trying to hold. Yeah, Mac owned this jacket. You're right. Well, I'm just saying, Mac. Call it the Wookiee jacket. Okay, M- Mac. We're waiting for your vote, man. Okay, we we need to hear your vote, and then Mario's going. That Mario's already sat back and say, "Gangster bitch." I Barbie. vote for gangster bitch. <laughs> I like her name. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mac is refusing to participate. That's because he has this jacket. He knows he has to disqualify. I cannot believe he. He has this hat too. <laughs> Mac I, has both the hat and the jacket. Well, you know what, Mario? I got one for you. You are going to be GNN <laughs> on this one. You're going to pick. I pick. Mac is number two. No. I, because okay. Mac has that jacket, I'm telling you. Okay. And I, the hat. I'm picking <laughs> Mac. PMC got the hat, too. Mac, I think the one you <laughs> like the best is Gangster Bitch Barbie. I'm going, I think that's Max. Well, PMC already, we know he probably is with me. PMC already <laughs> said he wants this coat. He's trying to, you know, people go say, man, how much that coat cost? <laughs> you know, East Coast, you know, they flash with their coats. Right. You know, East Coast, because, you know, be freezing and shit. Right. See, so that's where you have to break out your coat. Oh, God. So PFC just want to go flossing okay. down through downtown with this coat so everybody can ask him. That's wrong. He, I told you he said he got the hat. See, it's I the told you he had the hat. It's the same. It's a, it is a style. Yo, it is. It is it a is. style. It's easy to pick number uh, D- D- Dolce and Cabana, but I'm going to be honest with you. If you saw them rolling, you wouldn't think they were hip-hop. No. You wouldn't. I'm going to get my hair like this one, though, because <laughs> that gentleman on the left... <laughs> You know That's what? Real I'm saying this. If I had to sit back and say, this is really the number one picture, man. I'm sorry. I hate to say it because... I'm going to give you some gold teeth. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give you some gold teeth. I'm going to impress my friends. Let's go, let's go to the ladies. Okay, let's go to the ladies. Remember, BBWs. We oh, got that's precious. Beautiful, big women. That's Max wife, Precious. Oh, yeah, okay. Here we go. We got Sebastian <laughs> Corvus. I'm going to shrink it down so you can see the whole thing. You know what? Yeah. yeah that's Sebastian Corvus. That. Okay. Marquita Pring. New York. Oh, Pring, Pring, and Flavia Pring. Lacerda, New Ooh. York as well. Who, Mario, is your oh, number one? She's probably uh, Puerto Rican or something. No, Lacerda. That could be Italian. Yeah. Well, okay. I tell you, my number one is going to be Miss Pring. She's a Pringle. Okay. So She's you a got Pringle. number one. And then my number two is Fluvia because I don't know about Precious. Okay. Mac for Townsend Washington. We knew who number one was for him. He's going to get her a bus ticket. <laughs> Maybe she want to fly. Why are you offering her a bus ticket, Mac? She may want to fly. She wants to fly. To, she fly her to Seattle. Well, PMC she agrees with you. PMC agrees with you. 
He yeah. got it. He, he. And Norma says, lady number two. Yeah, she is, she's fine. And so what we have learned today, based on the numbers and rankings, the jeans wins again, right? No, we learned today that you can get some jacked up picks on some days. <laughs> no, no, this That's is, what we learned today. First of all, you can be some jacked up. No, no, this is not look at these, Let me just show them the fellas one more time. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> These are supposed to be the men. One of the men is gangster bitch Barbie. That's one of the men. No, it's not. That's one of the men. No. And then the other men is Dolce and Cabana. <laughs> and the other men is Wait, these two gentlemen. Did you not hear my explanation <laughs> for the first round? It was genre based, cultural based. They want to see the second girl's pick again. Oh, yeah, that's. Hey, Marquita. Hey, you know what? Just so you guys know, I blow she her up, is a big time successful model. Commercially, big time. You got any porno? Okay, I'm gonna leave that alone. You know what? I, I'm I'm done. I'm done. That's it for hot. Everybody's hot sick. Thanks for participating. Man, Mac got no porno. I can't believe Mac did not want to choose between the hip hop and PMC. The second girl is fine. That's he don't Marquita. want y'all to know he got that coat. Oh man. Yeah. Nah, man. You know we gotta do a joint for the ladies, right? Right. So every club worldwide, we gon' move y'all like this. Come on, bounce, bounce, bounce. Big girl, big girl, big girl, big girl, big girl. It's Friday night when the club lines be out the door. Watch the.